Hi, this is Dio. Today I'm going to talk about the tips regarding the immediate placement after extraction case. After the Dio Navi was launched in the market in 2015, Dio has been rapidly growing to the point that the number of holes placed with the Dio Navi system exceeded over 400,000. Also, it is the best digital surgical guide system having less than 0.26 degrees for placement error. Look at this beautiful case. Like this picture, the Dionavi system always assures a precise and safe implant surgery. However, sometimes you will meet difficult cases like this picture. What will be the results of a case like this with the extraction socket? This is an immediate placement after the extraction case. If there is an extraction socket and the extraction socket hasn't healed fully, the initial drill is likely to slip easily. Even if the implant is planned to be placed vertically like this picture, during the actual placement, there are multiple cases where the implant slips due to the inclination in the extraction hole. Today we will learn about the solutions to this problem. There are four solutions. The first solution is the step-by-step -step drilling protocol. The other three are solutions by specific drill use. The most important solution is the first one with the step-by-step -step drilling. And the part that is really overlooked is the fourth solution, which is about the proper use of the implant connectors. The first solution is the step-by-step -step drilling protocol. 2.0 initial drill with a drill tube can make the first hole very precisely in a stable manner. The sequential drilling from short drills can minimize the drill from slipping. The protocols on this page are standard drilling protocols from Dionabi. However, the protocol may change in an immediate placement after the extraction case. It can be applied like this page. For an immediate placement after extraction case, the tissue punch and the bone flattening drill can be skipped due to the extraction socket and the initial drill needs to change from 5 mm to 7 mm. The second solution is using a point straight drill with a 2.5 diameter. This drill is included in the Dionabi special kit and is an exclusive drill designed to prevent slipping. The third solution is using a profile drill. A profile drill is useful in flattening the remaining bone after extraction teeth. Here is an example. We use a 4.5 profile drill first. Use a profile drill to widen the hole on the top of the alveolar bone and insert a 3.8 final drill in it to start drilling while preventing the drill from slipping. As you can see, it is drilled exactly without slipping. Lastly, I will tell you the proper use of the implant connector. There are two methods. For the first one, the implant must be placed vertically to avoid slipping into the extraction socket for immediate placement after extraction case. The second one is that you need to align the direction of hex of implant connector and the guide sleep notch for immediate prosthetic loading. Lastly, we will now take a look at a short video about immediate placement after extraction case from Dr. Lee of Michigan Dental Clinic in Busan.
That was it for today. Thank you for listening. This was Dio.